one of my favorite aspects of Stranger Things is that it has so many nerdy characters and they have overlapping interests, D&D especially, but they also do a really good job building distinct nerd niches for each of those characters. And Scott Clark is no different. If I had to categorize it, I would say that his niche is like creepy practical shit and space. To start with, he has a ton of taxidermy in his classroom, which, you know, is a choice for a middle school teacher, but cool. And then in season two, he has a lot of Halloween decorations. And I don't recall if any other teachers do, but it seems like he like goes pretty hard for it, which I enjoy. And this love for creepy, spooky, like physical things seems to extend to his choice in movies. He's when he's with his date, he's watching the thing and explaining the practical effects to her. And so pairing that with when we see him painting the D&D figurines, it seems to me like he's the type of guy who probably has a lot of like movie memorabilia and paraphernalia and all that kind of stuff. And I, I think that's a really fun, specific type of nerd to be. Another example of his sort of interest in like these like bits and pieces, how things work, how things work together things is he has a Rube Goldberg machine in his classroom, which I really love Rube Goldberg machines. So that was super fun to see. And then the other big presence in his classroom and actually in his house as well is space stuff. In his house, he has a huge telescope and a bunch of books on like galaxies and space stuff. And then in his classroom, he has this huge display of up to date space news and little posters for like things that NASA is doing. On this bulletin board, which you can see in season two, it's celebrating the first American woman in space, Kathy Sullivan, and it's anticipating the Challenger launch, which originally was supposed to be in July of 85. My friend and I actually had canon that he was shortlisted for the teacher in space program. And then since all of that went down January of 86, in March of 86, he was maybe still taking a leave of absence to kind of like process things. But that's more our way of processing the fact that he wasn't in season four because we really missed him. And on that note, because I love the role that he plays with the main group every season, except this one, I noticed something super cool in his house. He has a Maxfield Parish painting in his house called Jason and the Talking Oak. And it's an illustration from Nathaniel Hawthorne's book, A Wonder Book in Tanglewood Tales, which is a retelling of a bunch of Greek myths. Specifically, Jason goes to the Talking Oak for advice. This is the line from the book. As the Talking Oak had already given him such good advice, Jason thought that it would not be amiss to ask for a little more. Scott Clark is the Talking Oak, and I want him back. He is such a good part of the show. He's such a fun character, and I just want him to come back in five. 